I'll have to cut you off for being an idiot. Right, Kenny, are you there, Kenny? Hi, Scotty. Hello, son, how are you? I'm not too bad. A wee bit up to high door. Are you up to high door, Kenny? Aye. Right, go on, why is that? Yeah, I'm a first time caller, Scotty, I'm a wee bit nervous. Oh, listen, what are you nervous of, son? I'm just speaking from the radio. Well, don't worry about that. I do it every night and it's fine. <laughs> listen, <laughs> uh, I've, I've heard you a few times, uh, the first time around, Dan, recently since you came back on air. Of course. Uh, and I've heard you giving advice to certain people if you can, if it's possible. If we can, Ken, yeah. Now, I'm getting married in the near future. Well, damn uh, it. I, think, I had I think, a big, I'll big give, fight with my, my fiancé this I'll, evening. I'll give you a wee dose of the clap there. <laughs> just to, Oh yes, yes. That's just that's just a wee bit of encouragement. The studio Much audience, appreciated. the studio Sorry, audience, that's obviously that's approved of you there. Ah, uh, world of good. Now then, now I had a wee falling out with her this evening over yes. something that's a wee bit silly. Now, now just now, before you say, when did you say you were hoping to get married? I I don't want to uh, divulge too much information in case anybody knows who it is. You know. I shouldn't you think they do. There's sixty million folk could be listening. Yeah. So I wouldn't you worry. What? Um, in about six weeks. About six weeks. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Right. Go yeah. on. So yeah. you had a wee falling out. Tell us uh, a bit more. She, my my parents don't really give her the time of day, Scotty. And it's been quite difficult for us. Uh, under a wee bit of pressure. Do they think like she's not course. good enough for you? Eh, yeah, I don't know what the problem is, Scotty. They'll just. I mean, you can be honest about it. If that's what they think, that could be the thing. Probably. So they think, I, you know, I really don't know nobody's why. Nobody's good enough. Understand. Are your parents quite proper people? No, that's not... No, I wouldn't say that, no. You know, I mean, do they sort of, uh, you know, have they got very high standards? Eh, I think he's just saying his way, Scott. He's a wee bit old-fashioned. Well, you're old man. Think, aye. Aye. What, 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 what age are you, Robert? Uh, Sorry, Kenny, I beg your pardon, Robert. I'm 30. 30, all right, so aye, you're, not, you're not just a, a, a wee bear me. No, no, we've been we've been living, my fiancé and myself have been living together for the past five years. So oh, right, oh, well, heavens. Now, listen, can I tell you what I think is going on? Well, you tell me a bit more, and then I'll, I'll tell you what well, I think is going on. Well, I mean, uh, how can I explain it? It's a wee bit hard to explain. I've not really talked to anybody about it. Well, that's why well but you're doing very you know. well with it. You're doing uh, very well with it. We're getting on fine, aren't we? You and me? We're both different religions, right? Right. I'm one and she's the other. And my dad, I think, has got a bit of a bee in his bonnet about that. Right. So I think that's maybe part of it. And what? Uh, are you a Protestant? No, no, no. You're a Catholic? Yeah. And uh, she's a Protestant? Yeah. Yes? No, I don't have a problem with that. I was mm -hmm. brought up a Catholic, but I'm not a practicing Catholic for the past uh, for 14 years or so since. Right. So you haven't had your your nose inside a church on occasions when I have to. Right. It was actually forced on me when right. I was younger, and I took offence to that and said. Right, Are your mum and dad both Catholic? Yes. Mm -hmm. that's, I think that's why he's quite a strong Catholic. Yes, he's divine. Uh, which which doesn't help matters as far as the relationship and I think a thorn between us myself and my fiance it's always causing hassle and grief eh, and upsetting both of us we end up having a go saying he's doing this and he's doing that and I say well I love you and I love him but I don't like him if you know what I mean mm -hmm. no I my know dad, exactly I what you him, mean you can love someone but not like them but he's just too much sometimes a lot of people love Scotty McClure but don't like him I'm caught between a rock and a hard place, if you like. Well, you are a little bit. Now, the only thing is, you're 30 years of age. Yeah, I'm a big so boy. I'm ugly enough you're and You're very much big a big enough. boy, yes. You're ugly enough and big enough, and you're probably very good looking. And uh, your fiancé, what age is she? She's the same. Right, and you've lived together for five years. Yeah. You know each other very well. Uh, do yeah. you love her? I do. do I love absolutely her. absolutely adore her. I, I, I die for her. Do you worship the everything. ground she walks on? Yes. Right. Yes. Does she love you? I think so. Does she absolutely she adore so. you? Right. Yeah, I hope so. Now, yeah. what was this silly falling out over then? Forget your yeah. father at the moment. I uh, took my father and my brother to do a message and get stuff sorted for the wedding as right. far as suits go. Right. Now, I was late getting back, unfortunately, and I'd, I'd phoned and said I was on my way, and technically I was sidetracked somewhere else beforehand. Of course. I never explained myself very well, and I should have done a wee bit better, I suppose, but it uh, caused her to get upset and worry about me, thinking maybe something's happened. Right. So I came home, and she went off on one. So next thing we're at, throws with each other, shouting, screaming, 
throwing things off the wall, you name it, it was happening. And oh I just dear. thought, right, go just now. I'm just sitting in the car. That's fine. In the middle of nowhere. That's okay. So I get my thoughts together and yes. I thought, right, I'll phone Scotty. No bother, you're more than welcome. He's got a head on his shoulders that might be able to give me well, a wee bit of two heads are better than one. They say a problem shared's a problem halved. If you tell the wrong yeah. person, it's a problem doubled. I know. Now, the thing is, what we're talking about here, Kenny, is you've yep. got six weeks to go till you get married. Yeah. It's quite a big step. The two of you have left it... You know, till you're 30 years old. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a big step, but you know each other well. You've been together for five years. Have you had these sort of tantrums before from her? Okay, we're always... The Barneys are always good ones, you know what I mean? There's a wee, bit a, of a, a wee bit of a Barney, right. I mean, all couples usually have rows now and again. Well, if you don't but have a row, there's something wrong. As long as the making up is just as much fun. Yes, well, very now, much so. what I think here is that she's getting a little bit anxious over the wedding because it's nevertheless still a big day yes i mean and everything everything's virtual also yeah, it's just logistics but i think your father thing. will be very clever about trying to see if he can invoke some sense of guilt yeah. within you not about the fact that you're getting married but the fact that she's not of his faith yeah Yes? Yeah. And that you have let your faith lapse. Yeah, I think so that's a big uh, a it, big it uh, would love upset to see. For now, it. is your mum still about? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And she she doesn't have that she's not uh, She's not interfering in it. No, she she's quite happy. Right. So the old dog is trying to have one last go at the young dog before yeah. he staggers off into the wilderness. I mean I've put my foot <laughs> down a wee bit. Sorry, tight. I'm sorry to be hard on your dad, but you go and tell me you put your foot well, down. Somebody's gotta be I'm trying and I just can't mm -hmm. get to grips with him at all. He'll just not listen to me. No. Well the old dog is having a last go at the young dog, as I say, before he staggers off into the wilderness and lets him take over the territory so you're just about there you've got six weeks to go yeah. now if you two leave your father out of the equation i would imagine he's quite a powerful personality yes he's very stubborn and strong yes yes that's fine so are you <laughs> you see that's yeah. the whole thing it's just that when you get a direct challenge like that it means that you are carrying the shecht for the rest of the family Aye. Feels like it's something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because you sound like a very, very nice guy. And I would think one of the reasons you've left getting married to a little bit later is that you wanted to establish yourself and to find out just how the land lay in life. Yeah. And that makes a lot of sense. First, yes, you know? yes. And having found that, they will be a little bit envious yeah. of your new found freedom and your independence and your independence together with your fiance so of course you do and I listen and i have absolutely no doubt she's on to a very good thing with you she's just wondering also if she can control you because sometimes they take your warmth and your kindness right to be a bit uh, soft that's what it, anything for a quiet absolutely life. but there's a wee wee misunderstanding within them that they they mistake your warmth and your kindness and your goodness and they also wonder how can he have that if he's not devout in his faith yeah. do you see what i mean so yeah, yeah. The, the, the true you never mind the kind of physical attributes if you like the true you is a thinker is a very deep character and is a man of independent mind now, do you know the song, A Man's A Man For All That? I've not heard it for a long not time. Not for a long time, but there's yeah. a bit of it that goes, The man of independent mind lives and laughs at all that. You see? And yeah. you do a bit of living and a bit of laughing. And the one thing I can assure you, because you're talking to another man who's very similar in his outlook in life, and the one thing I can assure you is that people that take themselves too seriously won't like it. No. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, because you will appear to get on just as well as them. I mean, I've got a good job. I've got a nice house. Yes. I mean, I'm doing well. I've worked hard for my You've life. You've worked hard and you will continue to work hard. Yeah. And you, you will meet a whole variety of emotions, Kenny. Yeah. A lot of them based on the green-eyed monster. Oh, I know that. I, can, I mean... You see? Because yeah. the one thing that they would like to take off you is your independent mind. In other words, that boy needs a good wallop, you know, right. until, he, until he sees sense. And you have seen sense. 
You are an original, you are an independent, and that yeah. vexes people who are control freaks. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I, before I met my fiancé, Scotty, I did the bit. I smoked, I drank, I, I, you name it, I was Fine. on that. Fine, I you tried, it, you tried out a bit of life. Yeah, as a young man. It's not the end of the world. No. And you've, no you've, you've given all that up now. Yeah. And, uh, and you're wanting to get on and build your life together. Yeah. So, I mean, she went off in one, I would think, because she thought she could get away with it. And also because she was very anxious. Yeah. Right, that you were out with your father and your brother. Now, you see, she will also be trying to get a wee bit of control of the situation. Mm -hmm. But no one, right, can actually get inside your head. No. That's the whole thing. Yeah. And nobody can steal your independent mind and your independence of thought. And that's yeah. your gifts. Nurture them and love them. Yeah. I mean, love I yourself. I hate this caper shouting and screaming at each other. It doesn't get anybody anywhere. It just gets some more people Well, of upset, course you know? it does. Of course it does. I mean, does the old man try it on as well? <laughs> He's shouting and bawling. He used to. Right. I'm bigger than him now, so he doesn't <laughs> take his chances. He doesn't well, so. take his chances. Well, that's the thing. It's well, rather than physical. Well, you are, he, he tries that on, but you are the king of the jungle. Support your own thoughts. Support your independent mind. That is why people love you, right? But don't carry too much of the shecht for everyone else. No, I know. Because <coughs> that's their lives that have yeah. caused that, not yours. No. You've never done anyone any harm. You see, that's not your style. No. So, be thankful that you are you. You're very lucky. You have many, many gifts. And your fiancée knows this. That's why she absolutely adores you. She's besotted. So, I think once you've, uh, you know, had a nice thought and enjoyed the freedom of your time, I think you want to get back up and see her and say, How are you now? Have you yeah. calmed down? Do you want me to come and talk to you? You know, Give her a phone first. And, and I shall explain things to you. Give her that, you know, yeah. and then go back and enjoy your time together. And don't let others interfere in your life. Much appreciated, Scotty, for your help. No bother. What you've got is very valuable. It's actually priceless. Yeah. You can't put a value on what you've got. It is a yeah. tremendous gift. And I say to you, dinky do. And dinky do you, Scotty, and many Many, many thanks. And many thanks to you. And listen, all the very best for the wedding. And if you want a wee chat, you know we're only at the end of the phone. Cheers, China. God bless you, China. See hey, you, buddy. Dinky do, bud. Dinky do, See mate. you, mate. Bye bye, now. bye. bye. Right, give us a call as soon as you possibly can. We're stowed out the door and stop it through with calls, but we can always squeeze you in. That's what I say. Scotty McClue's national megaphone in. Dinky do, back after this. Scotty McClue's National Megaphone in with the nation's number one shock jock. Stand by, he's back in seconds. Hey.